Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'm done. I officially have no idea what we're supposed to think of Liam from Bold and Beautiful. It's still late August, and he's already been named Worst Soap Character of 2023 in my opinion. At this point, I'm not even sure there's any competition. I simply want to hug Scott Clifton and tell him, we know it's not you, he's the one, but I digress because it's easier than discussing what happened this week on Bold and Beautiful. Present yourself for slapping Liam. We've known for a long time that Liam is a waffler. It's a running, though unfunny, joke that whichever woman he's not with is the one he wants. But what happened this week was unfathomable, even in Liamland, a place I hope to never, ever visit. Can we talk about the fact that he had the audacity to boast about the years that I was devoted to you, without incident, as if he deserved an award? Is there, for example, a marriage loyalty program in which you get points for every month you go without having inappropriate thoughts about someone other than your spouse? My slapping hand began to itch right then and there. Stop. Just stop. He then went on to say that Hope's one indiscretion with Thomas was equivalent to Liam ping-ponging between Hope and Steffi for more than a decade. It's also worth noting that Liam is completely unaware that his wife slept with Thomas. If he knew, I might be a little more forgiving of his queries. But, given that he has no idea Thope has been boinking, evidently, mostly off-screen, as we'll see later, he's setting up the most absurd false equivalency imaginable. But things went downhill after Hope stated that she was trying to take accountability, and Liam revealed that Thomas is a one-woman man and I'm not. Because after many chats about Thomas and Hope, Liam was all, you know, we talk about that, but let's just focus on your unforgivable sin. I'm not going to be able to forget, and I'm not going to be able to forgive, Liam stated, playing the honesty card, neither you nor Thomas. To paraphrase the movie A Christmas Story, it was at that precise moment that I wove a tapestry of obscenities that, as far as we know, is still hanging in the air over Woodstock. Liam, I mean, honestly, you're screwed. The perilous muse. Meanwhile, Liam's plan B, Aka Steffi, appeared to be on the verge of reuniting with Finn, who had pledged not to let Shayla into their life. What doesn't really make sense here is that Shayla hasn't shown any interest in the prior few weeks. You'd think that after Finn showed his gratitude to her for saving Kelly, Shayla would have been bombarding him with texts. But, before releasing Shayla, the show had to release Liam from Hope. Remember, they can only do one thing at a time and get Steffi and Finn back together. Suddenly, the enraged mother began mumbling. Things would be very different if Steffi weren't in Finn's life. Musings have a way of taking up space in your brain, Deegan observed, and you have been known to act on some dangerous hypotheticals. With Jacqueline McSinn's Wood's maternity leave approaching, I'm willing to bet that anything Shyla does next will assist propel Steffi off the canvas. Step Legate I absolutely enjoy the scenes in which Ridge and Eric argue about the company's future. But I wish Eric had rant about something more important than a stagler. What if Eric was enraged because a photo of himself with Stephanie had been swapped with one of Ridge and Brooke? That would also have allowed Eric's dive tribe to include Stephanie, who was by his side every step of the way during the company's early days. And how awesome would it have been if Eric slipped in a dig about Ridge being a maroon at some point? We didn't comprehend that, but when the patriarch said, when people think of Forrester creations, they don't think of Ridge Forrester, I felt shivers. They recall Eric Forrester. Nothing would make me happier than for Ridge, being the egomaniac that he is, to quit in a huff and establish his own fashion firm. Long-time readers of this column know that I've been wishing for the revival of the fashion house battles for years. Random Musings Asterisk, given that the large office at Forrester has been used for everything from post-workout wardrobe changes to desktop romps, Eric suddenly acted as if this has always been his private space. 
Asterisk with Brooke constantly putting the baby Beth saga in Hope's face, it would have been nice if the younger lady had at some time said, let's not forget Flo's role in all of this, and she was forgiven by everyone, is it necessary for Thomas to donate a kidney in order to be forgiven? Asterisk based on upcoming teasers, it appears that RG will finally have something to do other than tell us how much he doesn't want to be involved with the family drama before delving into the midst of the family turmoil next week. While we wait for Douglas to once again prove himself to be the wisest guy on the soap and fix the Thomas and Hope or Liam situation, have a look at the gallery below of soap stars who have grown up before our eyes. According to Soaps.com's latest bold and beautiful spoilers for the week of Monday, August 28, through Friday, September 1, the program is shifting away from the love pentagon that has previously dominated the screen and back to Sheila, Sheila, Sheila. As son Finn works tirelessly to repair his marriage to Steffi, the mad woman of the hour is dealt a devastating blow when she and lover boy Deacon are visited by unexpected visitors. Deacon then throws a reality bomb on his insane darling as Liam, who at this time has more opinions than socks, weighs in on the problem. Continue reading to see if you can figure out where this is all going. Following his altercation with Ridge, Eric confides in RJ and then begs a significant favor from his grandson. Thomas makes a surprising move, perhaps by acknowledging that being unselfish is difficult and that he wishes to set hope free. Eric requests that a reluctant RJ maintain a secret. So you mean I shouldn't have just insted it, Grandpa? Shayla and Deacon fear when Ridge and Carter pay a surprise visit because they don't have any refreshments prepared for guests. Hope is torn apart by Thomas' disclosure. Isn't she, technically, always conflicted at this point? Meanwhile, here's why the two must act now or never. Spoilers for Wednesday, August 30th, Old and Beautiful. In today's recap, Finn and Steffi sort things out, Ridge asks probing questions, and Shayla isn't going away. As they work to mend their broken relationship, Steffi and Finn's love comes through. Something tells us that these two crazy kids will make it. Rest in peace, my friend. The Spencer Brothers of Bold and Beautiful pay tribute to the late iconic co-star here. Spoilers for Thursday, August 31st, Bold and Beautiful. Deacon insists on Shayla hearing a painful reality. If he informs her that the long-term relationship between them is impossible, he will be taking his own life in his hands. At the very least, she'll have a souvenir of their time together in our twisted romance photo gallery. Finn confronts Liam fiercely and makes a big claim. Given Liam's recent behavior, we wouldn't be surprised to see a punch thrown. Spoilers for Friday, September 1st, old and beautiful. Steffi makes a choice. In other words, she rejoins Finn. She has to, right? Right? Unafraid to say the obvious, Liam cautions Ridge that as long as Shayla is free, no one is safe. While we wait for the return of the character who will undoubtedly put things right between Liam, Hope, Thomas, Steffi, and Finn, pass the time by scanning the photo gallery below, which features before and after shots of stars who have grown up before our eyes. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.